Hi, I'm Jones and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you one really easy and really tasty vegan recipe using tofu. Now my family eats a lot of tofu and this is one of our family favorites and one that I've been making for about 30 years. So I'm pretty sure your family's gonna love it too. It's a great recipe to make on a busy weeknight because it's really easy to make and just uses a few healthy and tasty ingredients. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment. Do you love tofu as much as I do? Or are you new to tofu? What's your favorite recipe? Or if you try this recipe, let me know what you think in the comments below. So without any further ado, let's get into the recipe. I start by mashing some extra firm or firm tofu that I've pressed. To press your tofu, just wrap it in a clean dish towel and place something heavy on top. I usually use an iron pan and just let it sit for 10 or 15 minutes to get the excess moisture out. Then start mashing it until you get a crumbly texture and all the bigger lumps are gone. I'm using a potato masher here, but if you don't have one, you can use a fork. Next, I added a quarter cup of whole wheat flour, but if you're gluten-free, you could use buckwheat or spelt or quinoa. Those would all be good replacements. And then I added about two cloves of finely minced garlic and a quarter cup of stone ground mustard, but you could use pretty much any kind of mustard that you prefer. Then I just mix those ingredients into the tofu and I kind of continue to mash it into the tofu as I go to just make sure that it's all fully incorporated. Next I add a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of ground coriander, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and a half cup of raw sunflower seeds. Now if you don't have raw, you can also use roasted. Just make sure they don't still have the shells on them. Then just stir those ingredients in, continuing to sort of mash them into the tofu as you stir. Then I added two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. If you don't have fresh parsley, you can use dried. I've used that many times. Or you can try a different herb like basil or cilantro. I think either of those would make a good substitute in this recipe, but I usually use parsley. Then it's time to form the tofu balls. So I just took about a tablespoon and a half of the mixture and started rolling it between my fingers to form a ball and then placed it in my air fryer. I'm using the air fryer here because I got one for Christmas and I really love it and I really wanted to try these out and see how they came out, which they came out great, but in the past I've always fried them in oil. Now if you want to fry them in oil, they are awesome that way, but this eliminates all the fat and all the mess and it's just much easier to do. It takes less time and if you're trying to go oil free, this is the way to go. Then I just put them in the air fryer at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes. I did take them out halfway and turn them over, but I don't think this was really necessary because they were cooking really nicely and they came out so nice and golden and crispy. Ooh, I just couldn't wait to eat them. And I do like to eat these just on their own, just kind of as a snack or dipped in some pasta sauce. While those were cooking, I got some pasta cooking on the stove. I was using this brown rice and quinoa spaghetti from Trader Joe's. It's organic and gluten-free. 
but I had never tried it before, so I was curious. So I just added some of that to a pot of boiling water. And to tell you the truth, I ended up slightly undercooking it because it does take less time than regular pasta, but I forgot to try it before I took it out of the pot and drained it, and it actually wasn't quite all the way cooked, but that was okay. Then I just added some jarred marinara on top. And I also made some broccoli. I just cooked it up in the same pot as the pasta just a few minutes before it was done cooking. That's a really easy way to eliminate some dishes. And there is our gorgeous spaghetti and tofu balls. I can't wait to eat. that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and if you try the recipe, leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.